So you got a brand new SSD in your MacBook, but you want to get your old data back on there? I'm going to show you how. Hey everybody, it's Chris from Family Geekery, and today we're going to be talking about restoring your data onto your MacBook after you've installed a brand new SSD. So this is assuming maybe you followed one of my tutorials on how to upgrade one of your old MacBooks uh, maybe put some more RAM in there, put a new hard drive in there, and you've got the option of, of course, just installing macOS brand new, and I've got tutorials on how to do that, uh, but maybe sometimes you just want to take all your old stuff that was on your old drive and put it onto the new drive as if you never changed anything software-wise. So you get the benefits of the SSD speed, but you've got all your stuff exactly where you left it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And to get that done, of course, you're going to need your old drive. So I'm assuming that we just took this drive out, put in a brand new SSD. Of course, the SSD should be at least the same size as your old drive. It can be bigger, but it should be at least the same size. And then the other thing you're going to need is either going to be a USB to SATA adapter or a USB SATA drive enclosure. And I'll give you some examples down in the description of a couple cheap ones you can pick up on Amazon to get this job done. So before getting into the steps on how to clone your old drive right onto your new drive, let's talk about one more option, and that is using the same type of device, you can go ahead and install um, beforehand, install macOS on the new SSD using a, either a USB drive or the, the internet recovery, and then using this just to pull off any data that you want from here. So you can plug this in as an external drive and just drag over the few files that you may need. So that's always an option. But what we're going to be doing today is doing an exact clone from your old drive right onto your new drive. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is hook up your old drive. So using one of these guys, it's real easy. It's got a, a SATA connector here that we're just going to pair up with the SATA connector on the disk. Just plugs in just like that. That's going to cover both the the power is going to be delivered right over USB, and then of course the data itself. So that's all plugged up, and then we're just going to plug this into a USB port on the side of the, the laptop, and that's done. If you're using one of the drive enclosures, of course it does the same thing. It's just a little bit prettier. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do now that we've got our old drive hooked up over USB we got our new drive installed in there, is we're going to boot up the machine into the recovery mode. So let's lift the lid, hit the power button, and hold down Command-R. And we're going to hold that down until we see the, uh, the logo pop up and the system start to boot. Alright, now that we see the Apple logo and the system starting to boot, we can let go of those keys. And we're going to go ahead and let that boot up into recovery mode. All right, now that we've booted up into macOS recovery, we can see all of our different utilities here. And we're going to go down to disk utility. And we're going to start that up. And this is going to show us all the different disks that we have here. Now, of course, we've got the macOS base system, which is basically just the restore partition that is, that is running the software that we see right now. We've got our external drive here, which is showing up as two different partitions. And then we've got the internal Mac SSD. So I've gone, gone ahead and renamed this just to make it easy to understand. But really what we need to do, if this was just your brand new disk, it may say like SanDisk or PNY or whoever the manufacturer is. So the first thing we need to do is format this. So I've already done it, but I'll do it again. We're going to go up here, selecting this internal disk and hit erase give it a name and we're going to select the APFS format you may have different options on here but APFS is going to be the option we're going to pick and then if you've got the the second selection underneath there since I've already done this it may say GUID partition that's what you're going to select for that second drop down so once you get that selected we're going to click erase it's going to take just a second to format it and partition it, and then it's just like that, it's done. So that way we get that set up. The next thing we're going to do is reselect it again, 
and this time hit restore and it's going to ask us what do we want to restore there so we're going to restore the untitled which is the name of our external disk here and it says hey this is going to erase mac ssd that's our new drive it's going to erase it and you can't go back and you're just going to say that's fine so let's hit restore and depending on how big your disk is this next step is going to take a while now for some reason it doesn't stay on that disk utility screen for me it popped out but i can see and let me see if i can show you here the activity light on this is running so it's actually doing the restore right now it just for some reason it popped that dialog box off the screen so i'm going to go ahead and let this keep on going until that blue light stops flashing and you can go into disk utility if this happens to you and you can see that it's unmounted see how they're grayed out it's unmounted my new drive and my old drive and it's actually copying the stuff right now and when everything's done they'll be remounted and they'll be darkened so let's go ahead and let it copy and I'll be back when that's done alright so the activity light has stopped flashing it's now just solid and you can see like I said now the partitions have gone back to a solid color instead of grayed out so it looks like everything worked so we're gonna go ahead and shut this down unplug the USB drive and then we're just gonna boot up the computer as normal and see if it worked so let's get this to shut down and I'll be right back all right so it shut down I unplugged the external drive I'm just gonna hit the power button Now we're going to see if that new SSD drive that we just copied all the stuff over with the disk utility is uh, got the macOS partition on it now. And this looks good. If we didn't have anything on there, it would come up with that question mark right here, that folder icon with a question mark on it. So at least now it sees that there's a macOS partition. And it looks like it's going to boot right up into macOS, and there it is. So there's the same user account that I had on the old disk. And there we are. All booted up. And let's just take a look real quick at about this Mac. And look at our storage. And there it shows our new solid state drive. One uh, 500 gigabyte SSD. Running our operating system so it looks like it worked so in this video I showed you how to take an entire hard drive and clone it onto a new SSD now as a recommendation I would say don't do this unless you absolutely have to I always find that it's better just to completely reinstall Mac OS on the new drive and then copy any data over that you need but sometimes if you have a bunch of programs and a bunch of settings and a bunch of stuff that you don't want to have to reset up again, then this is going to be the best way. But I always just install fresh and copy over and reinstall programs as I need. So that is going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you got something out of it. If you like this video, then go ahead and like it. If you like this type of stuff and want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Check out some of the old content on this channel. I do a lot of upgrades on these older style MacBook Pros. Got a bunch of tips in there and uh, go check it out. So that's going to do it for now. Thanks as always for watching. Until next time, peace out and geek out.